The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the May 20th, the magical Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life, life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what the buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But most importantly, I'm here to serve you during this next hour. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. That's right. You can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Just inside that subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical, Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow off 82 points. It's about three tenths of a percent. Not a big deal out there. S&P is down nearly six tenths of a percent. Almost double that. 17 points. NDX is down 117, one and a half percent. Keeps getting worse the further we go. Russell 2000, though, back off is off about five bucks. Uh, semis 46. That's three percent. Um, gold is uh, up 90 cents. We'll call it flat. Silver is flat. Lights recruit up 17 pennies. Lead the charge. The upside dollar wise, individual stock wise, at Chipotle seven bucks or a percent. HDFC Bank. Up five and a half percent. Northrop Grumman up two percent. Lending Tree five bucks, one and a half percent. To the downside, Booking Holdings forty bucks, two percent. Google off two percent. Um, Broadcom down four percent. Asmill Holdings down five. Charter Communication down two and a half percent. So there's certainly some movement to the downside. I think where we begin, where we begin the uh, afternoon is let's take a look at the NDX one. Let's at least look at the top. Five holdings, which is going to be in order here. This would be as of Friday. It would be Microsoft was number one, Amazon, Apple, then Google, if you put together both, share, both shares, Facebook, and then Cisco. One, two, three, four, five. Those six represent uh, approximately 50%, plus or minus 50% of the entire NDX 100. So let's start by taking a look at Microsoft, just to try to get a gauge as to what might be going on. So as we take a look at Microsoft, um, nothing really broken here. Prices trading sideways had nice breakout. This was on the trading session of April 25th, 38 million shares out there. When price pulled back, um, what it was doing on May 9th was it was testing the top of the top of its weekly profile and uh, was getting ready to begin testing the bottom of its daily profile that formed on the uh, following session, May the uh, 10th out here. Now we've got price in essence trading between 123.45 and 128.53. That in essence is what we will call the consolidation area. Not a big deal here. No big breakdowns inside the index as far as the number one weighting inside of it. In the case of Amazon, and again, in the case of Amazon, we're looking at a similar type of set of tools, the daily and the weekly profiles out here. What you'll see is there's a brand new daily profile that formed today. It happens to be below the prior profile, suggesting there's a trend change to the downside. Um, but nothing has been broken there. 18, 13, 34, that's the center of the box, the point of control. That is a level of support. Even below that, you're looking at 17, 37. That, that's the green horizontal line or the weekly 
uh, profile out here. So Amazon doesn't look too shabby out here, at least at the moment. In the case of Apple, Apple is a problem child. When we say it's a problem child, now today, and I would be hard-pressed to say that we've got an A to B equals CD to the downside, but I'll do it for the blanks and giggles out there. Um, let me just uh, get this box here. And what I'm referring to is Apple is trading below. It's really broken through today uh, two real critical areas, three perhaps. First is trading below the swing point from May 13th. That swing point had 57 million shares. We're at 24 right now. We're not exactly halfway through. We're at similar type of volume. Maybe slightly lighter, but it's not like we're gargantuan lighter. Of course, I don't know what the end of the day is It's going to look like out here, but um, it's below a swing point. It's also below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. Now, nothing more bearish than a failed bullish pattern, and that means the price should have been able to hold 185.45. Again, I don't know what the end of day looks like, but if price were to miraculously close back above that, it wouldn't be a miracle, but if it did... Well, then support will have held. If support hasn't held, what's that mean? It means we go to the next level. Now, the next level, and, and I'll draw the A to B equals CD in there, even though I'm hesitant to do that, because there's really not much of a retracement out there. And if there's not much retracement, you know, it kind of makes the pattern suspect. If I put the monthly profiles out here, that's what we have now. This would actually suggest that price, in the case of Apple, targeting 169.44. This is what, oh, I have to turn the A to B equals CD tool on. This is what it would look like if we were going to draw one in here. The A to B equals CD pattern giving you a one-to-one -one price projection down at the bottom of that monthly profile. That's in the 160.29 level. Watch again. If there's a close below 182.85, near 182.54 right now, especially if you're below 182.85 with volume, and again, that was with volume of more than 57 million shares, that does not bode well for Apple is likely headed to. Now that doesn't round them out. Let's go take a look at uh, Google, see what Google is doing. Google's off 24 bucks, 800, and, oh my goodness, I deleted the chart. Well, so much for that. I will have my uh, work to do during the breakout there. That's uh, a bummer. I hate when uh, those boxes, that little X is just too close for my fat fingers out there when I try to minimize the chart. So my apology, I don't want to do, oh, I know what I can do here for Google. Let's just come over, take a look at the three time frames out there. Always have a backup plan, even if you don't remember that you have a backup plan. Now, in the case of Google, price below the daily profile, not good. Below the bottom of the weekly profile, not good. Looks like price is targeting the top of the monthly at the 1101.84 level out there. Um, yeah, that's what that's that's what I see here in the case of Google. Just out of the, for the heck of it, let me see if I can get my other charts populated here real quickly. Just just wanted to take a quick peek at that uh, bottoming process down here on May fifteenth, and was there any pattern to speak of? And there's not out here. Look, as long as Google remains, this is on a daily time frame below 1168.43, um, what we'll have to say is that that 1101 area becomes its price target. Target. Right now, the Dow 74 points, S&P down 16. I want to hear from you. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Dow's off 69, S&P down 15. Uh, first question that came in inside the Tiger's Den. John in the Tiger's Den writes and says, anything you see timing-wise that would be a candidate for a short-term low next 10 trading session, ten, next 10 trading days in the ES Mini? Uh, so if we take a look at the daily time frame uh, chart out here, John, uh, we're not going to see any, well, I take that back. We do see we do see several patterns that are out here. First pattern was the high. So that's the that's May Day. Price was moving higher, uh, doing a less relative energy. May 1st, you get that uh, bearish engulfing key reversal session. Uh, not uh, surprising that it actually identified the uh, top out here. A couple trading sessions ago, we saw price jump up and try to test DB's green line. Didn't hit it exactly, but uh, got uh, close enough out there. In essence, deflected. That would say, so you're saying... That would be a candidate for a short-term low. This suggests, this chart here, the daily time frame chart, suggests to you and I at this stage here that price wants to continue to pull back. So continue to pull back to where? John, what we know is that we've got the bottom of a daily profile, fairly wide box out here at 28.13. We also know that there's another level of support. That's the March 28th area. That was the most recent breakout for the S&P 500. That is 27.95. In essence, it's those levels that I believe that uh, we would want to be watching. Is there a pattern associated with price moving down there? Nothing other than a retest of a breakout area. But on the daily time frame chart, I don't have anything here to suggest to you or I that um, that a, a bottom is forming. Um, doesn't mean one won't form. It just means we don't have a pattern on a daily time frame chart. Uh, if I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, the problem last week, the problem overnight, and it's not really a problem, but if we take a look at what transpired was price got up, tested, and rejected. Remember on Friday, uh, at this time, we were taking a look at the S&P 500, the ES Mini, I should say, on the weekly basis. Notice that price was trading above Stevie's green line. And we said, look, if that level holds, that's a pretty powerful message out there. 
Whereas if price closes below that, it's a powerful message to the downside, suggesting that a trend has uh, changed or taken place. The thing with price closing above 28.73, which it has not done, and in overnight trading, that in essence was a level of resistance, was if price could get above that, because we're only in its third wave, letter number C, on my chart, that would suggest to me we could see at least a push up to those highs before the uh, unfavorable seasonal cycle will have kicked in. Didn't happen. I've got to go with that uh, unfavorable seasonal cycle is, is here right now. And that suggests that any type of low that you'd be looking at during the next 10 days would be nothing more than just a counter trend rally um, in a market that wants to move uh, lower. No reason really for me to answer your question over a period of 10 days to go look at the intraday time frame charts because they're always providing us with additional information but for those specific in essence time periods out there so um, I hope that helps answer your question you know you asked the last piece of information I could throw out there for you um, would be to watch so if you're looking for a rally let's say um, what I'll be watching here would be the spot volatility index. And now it's shown at the bottom of my panel out here. It's shown in a line chart, which means we're just looking at closing prices. Currently, the price is 1630. And the 50 day exponential moving uh, average is 1529. If your rally is going to occur, it won't call the bottom per se. But if it's going to occur, and especially with price being the spot VIX index being so close to its 50 day, you would see price below that. You would also likely see, maybe not that day, but a day or two following, the advanced decline oscillator reading for the New York Stock Exchange above zero. Neither of those are conditions that are present. Therefore, it continues to suggest a move lower with regard to the S&P 500, um, even though I show the uh, New York Stock Exchange here. I'm going with uh, this is a combined reading out here. So that's what that's what the charts are communicating to you and I as we speak right now. Now, there's one last piece of information to put out there, and, and that is the horizontal trading range levels, right? So if we're going to identify or try to figure out why is price stopping where it is or not stopping and where is it headed to next, uh, one of the things that you and I can do is take a look at a lot of historical data, about as much as we can compact into a chart. This happens to be the daily time frame for the ES Mini, but what it's showing out here are the daily, the weekly, and the monthly horizontal trading range boundary lines. Now, what we can see out here is that the weekly and the monthly seem to be the ones that are generating the most amount of information right now, John. Uh, we can see that where pr the advance in price stop was at the weekly horizontal trading range level of 29.57. Now, folks, what I want to, to let you know is that these horizontal trading ranges are based on information that took place years ago. But yet it is still very applicable to us with regard to areas of support or resistance. When price breaks through a resistance level, it'll go to the next area out here. We also know that when price found support uh, several days ago, the trading session of May 14th, price was pointing right back to the monthly horizontal trading range level of 28.10. Right now, um, that's really the range. This is our range out here, 2810 to 2957. But it's not really providing me anything with regard to, let's say, the next 10 days. But if 2810 holds, well, there you go. And then you would know one of the additional reasons why. We talked about the NQ earlier. I was speaking about the NQ and taking a look at the top five or six holdings with inside. I don't recall if we got through all of them, but if we take a look at the NQ, what you're going to notice right now is it's up against a potential level of support. That being both the weekly and monthly horizontal trading range area of 7405. Price is stuck right here. Thus far, it is held. What happens if price gets below there? Well, you've got to say that it opens up the uh, the door for 72.39 first, 71.88, and then 70.70. But you don't have to go there right now. You know that price is up against support. If we take a look at a price up against support, do we find support or a pattern on a 30-minute time frame chart out here? And the answer is no, not really. Um, there is an A to B equal CD to the downside pattern. That looked like this for the 30-minute uh, time frame, I will use this one out here. And hey, A to B equals CD patterns. They are subjective. Well, 
Darn it. Um, nonetheless, here's your A to B equals CD pattern, a 1 to 1.618. And we do have bulls trying to defend this area. But defend this area, meaning the 7380-ish type area out here. What price has not been able to do is close above resistance on a 30-minute time frame, 7441. So, yes, price is at support. We've looked at those horizontal trading ranges. But Stevie and you are not seeing any type of significant bottom on an intraday time period. We see the pattern. We see the completed pattern. We don't see the follow through. And without follow through, what do you get? You don't get a PGA championship like Brooks Kepka. He had follow through. I don't see follow through as we speak right now inside the NQ on a short term basis. Dow's off 73 S&P 16. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Com now. The art of timing the trade charts has a special running for one week only. From now through Memorial Day, you can save 25% off your first month and we'll ship you a hardcover copy of Tom O'Brien's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade. The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system. This software package is the fastest, easiest, and most accurate way to analyze stocks using Tom O'Brien's trading philosophy. It automatically provides you with Gartley and Butterfly patterns, swing points, retracement levels, confluence areas, expansion targets, and the power law vector indicator with just the click of a mouse. The scanner searches thousands of stocks each day and delivers a list of every Gartley and Butterfly pattern it finds automatically. Just enter the promo code BOOK at checkout. This sale ends Memorial Day, May 27th, so don't let it pass you by. For all the details and to save 25% and get your free book shipped today, check out the art of timing the trade charts on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the uh, chart that we have up on our screen right now is uh, Square, and that's for uh, David G. David writes in from Long Island. I own Square Puts. I'd like to add to my position as I'm seeing a test of 60, and if it breaks, 
a trip down to 50. Would love your opinion out here. So a couple of things. Um, here's what I would be watching for. Now, oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes when a whatever we're going to look at makes a top or a bottom, there are um, a handful of patterns that you and I like to look for. One of those patterns would be a, a wave count using the Chapman wave part of the Chapman Wave toolbox. And we like to look for uh, letter number G or number seven, uh, because I have other numbers out here, I'm using just the letters, hasn't done that. Okay, no problem. But another pattern that we do look at, because it does have those digits, is that uh, Tommy DeMarc set up nine count, knowing that bars eight, nine, or the bar following bar nine can be the low, which would identify a bottom. Well, in the case of square, David, that is exactly what took place out here on May 14th. Now, May 15th is what completed the pattern, meaning getting to nine, but the low was the low of May 14th. So it's a bottom signal. Price is trading below Stevie's red line, slightly above the top of the, uh, above the bottom of its profile, 62.52. You mentioned 60. Really, all you've got to look at is 62.52. But reality is, you've got to look at that swing point for May 14th. That low out there is, let me see if I can give it to you this way, 61.65. So I'd say if you break below 61.65, you're right. You're looking to add to it if you've got conviction. Behind it, and you say, yeah, you know, I don't really care about that. TD set up a uh, nine-count nine pattern out there, Steve-O. Uh, so if you're looking at where to add to it, you'd use Stevie's red line. That'd be 65.46 uh, on a uh, bounce out there. Price did get up a couple days ago to the center of its bear structured profile. That was 66.86. That would be another spot. And if price closed over, now the top of the box is 68.60. David, where you really need to be concerned about is, in essence, where the breakdown began, which was a gap to the downside that started that TD setup nine count. And that's the trading day of May 3rd or the high there, 70.50. Anything above that and uh, Square wants to trade higher. So you're looking for a place to add to your position. I would say, okay, that sounds great, except for the fact that we found a bottom. Just out of curiosity, what is it doing today volume-wise, square that is? So we know that there was a bottom signal that TD set up nine count. We know that that took place at the current low out here from May the 13th. I guess that was the date, May 13th and 14th. I think I said 14 and 15, my apology out there. But you, you kind of got it. Uh, volume, there was about 15 million shares. Today, you're at 3.7. Now, price is right now, David, trading above the top of that May 13th candle session. That high was 64.31 out there. You're at 64.57. If this was the end of the day, this is a classic test and rejection of a swing point on lighter volume which says there aren't enough sellers. So you're looking to sell more into this, but the sellers aren't there to say, hey, I've got your back out here. So be careful. Be careful because of that bottoming pattern out there. Do I have a bottoming pattern on a weekly basis? I do not. No reason for me to show that. We can take a look at this. The weekly chart says, hey, you're trading within the profile. Price could get to 52.26. So maybe my chart reading isn't accurate. You're right. Look for price to find support uh, between 52.26 and 59.58 out there. You didn't want to hear that second number. That's a bullish structured weekly profile. So that's what I see when I take a look at Square. I hope that helps you out. I wouldn't add to your position right now. Not saying you've got to get rid of the current position. I just wouldn't add to it. I'm just not seeing it based on what we just looked at. But I'll just defer back to you. What? say you. All right. Thanks for writing in. You too can write in. Just send me an email, steve at tfnn.com inside the subject heading. Just put radio show question, of course, in the Tiger's Den. If there's something that you'd like me to post and put up on the screen, please do so. So what else do we want to take a look at out here that's worthwhile? Of course, gold, everyone's favorite to look at right now, trading. Oh, wow. How did I do that? I don't know what it's trading at. Clearly, I got rid of what price was trading at, so we need to add that in there. I know what it's trading down or up. It's trading up a buck thirty. Well, I've got my work cut out for me. I'll go back through here. Apparently, I really messed things up, but you don't want to hear that. So, what are we going to do to go take a look at gold? Let's do the following things. Let's do the following things. What do we want to look at in gold? You know, on a daily basis, let's pull over the daily time frame chart.
What do we see here? It, you know, it's like if, if David and I were continuing our conversation, we weren't looking at gold, we were looking at square, we would say, okay, gold has formed a seventh wave move. That is letter G on my screen out here. That low hasn't been taken out. We've seen price pull back. It's trading below a bullish structured daily profile. That was 1281, clearly closed below that. You're 1277 right now. Um, it's not looking good. It's looking like price might go test that area. By the way, that area, looks like I can't tell you on this chart. Oh, this is a real bummer. Let me do this here. Can I tell you on this chart here, what happens when I hit this? There we go. Okay, I think we're good. So the number that you're watching for, oh, man. Wow. Folks, my apology here. I am not sure exactly what is transpiring, but here's the number. I'll try this one more time. Oh, that didn't work either. Okay. Um, looks like I need some assistance here. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get it this way. Okay, here we go. 1267.30. So about 10 bucks from where we're trading right now. That is an area to be uh, watching. Still bullish, but um, it's kind of more neutral than anything. Bullish because of that bottoming pattern. Bearish because we're trading below the bottom of the profile. So we're just simply going to use a neutral signal out here. Uh, the weekly chart, again, I know I'm reviewing something that many of you have already seen before. The weekly suggests that a bottom is in. You can see the Gartley sell pattern. The reason it suggests a bottom is in because that TD set up nine count. Um, but what has not happened, and here for those more intermediate term time frame traders, the key here for you and gold, in order for gold to get its moxie, would be a close above Stevie's green line. And that number is 129070. 129070. That is where gold needs to close above. Um, what did I say? Yeah, close above from an intermediate term. Okay, things are all set to move to the upside. If Peter's in the den, I'm sure he's asking the question, what's gold doing in all currencies out here? The major currencies, it's slightly lower in euros, slightly lower in yen. Uh, it is uh, slightly lower in uh, pounds out here. Kind of flat, as we took a look at, inside of uh, gold priced in uh, U.S. dollars. So right now we've got the Dow down 46 S&P is off uh, 13. Um, silver, Jessica, up six pennies out here. We can take a look at that. We get back from this breakout here. Chipotle, again, the leader dollar-wise to the upside, uh, trading out at 723.97, up eight dollars and six pennies. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. What should you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Sorry about that uh, delay out there. Uh -huh. um, hey, look, so the Dow's, uh, but, but when I left, the Dow's uh, really hasn't changed. It's up about 55 points. I said, let's go take a look at silver out here. So let's do that, see what it's doing, see if there's any new profiles or anything out here. Uh, we take a look at the silver contract. What I'm going to do is uh, first find it. So we're taking a look at, come on, workforce. Man, uh, my apology. There's just some something that is wrong with this system here, and it's going to require just shutting everything down, and, and it, it, that'll, the show will be over. But here, when we take a look at silver, this is what we know right now. Uh, it's trading below really all profiles, and looks like a day. When I say all, I'm referring to daily and weekly. And so at this stage here, it looks like what Silver's doing, it's targeting its uh, swing point. It's already trading into it. That was the swing point I shouldn't have used red, but 1414, I'm sorry, 1441 to 1480, excuse me, is the uh, level. So it's making a 100% move of a move. That's about all the good that you can say from it. Let me see here if I can get this up. 0719 on my other system, just in case it's making some other type of uh, daily pattern out here to assist us. And at this stage here, the answer is no. Well, let me do some wave counts, right? So let's do this from the uh, February 20th. So no, that's out of the question. That's not it. What would you use next? I'd probably just come here as level now. So I've got nothing in the case of silver on a daily chart out here to identify whether this thing is at any kind of a uh, bottom. If we look at the weekly time frame, maybe that's better. When I say maybe that's better, it's because what price has done or what it did do on Friday or did it what it did do last week, it closed below a hammer candle. It closed below the breakout area. So this red horizontal line going across the screen out here, the breakout area didn't begin from the low of that Rhodes momentum indicator signal, but instead it began at the low of the TD setup nine count. So price is broken below that level. That was from the trading week of December the 7th, the low out there, 1446. Just not looking great for uh, gold or silver as we speak right now, not at least as of 150 in the afternoon. Dow is um, off 54 bucks, S&P down 14. NDX off 107. I can't tell you what they're trading at. I just know what they're down. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for the Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find the Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. You know what's cool? 
taking something that's good for you, something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by high concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back. Uh, so two questions. Uh, let's get to the first one. This one coming from Will. Will is short. Uh, West Texas Intermediate Crude. Uh, just to under wants to understand what's going on in the daily and the weekly time frame out here. So, uh, Will, the first place that we're starting with is, is the daily time frame chart with your daily and weekly profiles out here. And we can see that Lightspeed Crude has been in a trading range really between the the top and bottom of the daily profile. That's between 4582, 4987. Ideally, by being short, what you don't want to see is price close above 4987. Now, I don't know where you're short from. If you do see price close above 4987, you would anticipate that. Uh, what the heck am I talking about? 4987. Jeez, Louise. 6105. To 6406. Eventually, I'll, I'll I'll get to this planet here. Okay, sorry about that. 6105, 6406. If price closes over 6406, you should anticipate price is going to get up to 6562, the top of the weekly box. And if price is above that, you don't want to be short out here. If we take a look at um, what was going on in a daily time frame, I pull this other chart over here. Um, we can see the top, this little roads momentum indicator top out here, but uh, the breakout level inside of Lightspeed Crude is actually priced at about 58.34. Um, so until it gets down below that, it would just be pulled back to where Lightspeed Crude had previously broken out to. But you don't have to worry about that figure right now because price is not breaking through its profiles out here. So do I? Uh, so that's what I see when I take a look at Lightspeed Crude, and uh, again, watch 6406 because if price above that, you're looking at 6562. John writes in. John wanted to take a look at uh, Romper Room. R O M actually is a ticker symbol. No idea what that is. But if we take a look at R O M, that's the Alter Share Technology ETF. And uh, we're out of time. Here's all I can share with you right now, John. Price at the bottom of its daily profile. I'll give you the correct number there. That's 109.16. The bottom of the weekly, 108.62. Price is at key levels of support. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Sorry for that uh, system issue and problem, but uh, we'll make sure that uh, everything is up to speed, up to snuff on Terrific Tuesday. Take care.